Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the new CEO of TWA, Wilford Brimley! I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about Boy, that. Boy, am I ever glad that that dickhead, Tony Trimble, is gone. And a lot of fans share the same sentiment here with you, Mark. Wilford Brimley in his new cowboy hat. Looks like he has a new energy. What could the new GM have to say here? Look out. Things are about to get rowdy because there's a new sheriff in town. It's great to host my first battlefront in the Great White North. I am out here to address... What, what's that? He's on a rampage. I'm on my way. What is that all about, Mark? What the baby just took up and left? Oh, it better not be Tony Chimmel. Can we get some backstage footage of what's going on? What do you mean by rampage? What's going on? Well, no, sir. King Kong just snapped and he's been attacking everyone. I have a suggestion. Let's get the fuck out of here! I think we should vacate the premise, sir. He's already attacked Scorpion, Sub Zero, Freddy Krueger, and one of the security guards. No way! My show will not be ruined by this ape! I'm gonna get my rifle. This monkey is going down. You hear me? Stay right there. The following contest is scheduled for one fall! First, from the Congo jungle, weighing in at 330 pounds, Donkey Kong! Quite easily the largest member of Nintendo Power, the new group that Luigi has formed together. We all know the long, long history between Mario and Donkey Kong. Yes, that will be a perfect excuse for Luigi to use him in his battle against Mario. Donkey Kong's going to have a chance to prove himself here, much like his fellow teammate, Fox McCloud. I sure hope staff made sure this guy didn't bring his chainsaw. And his opponent from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 297 pounds, Leatherface! One of the more unorthodox individuals here in the TWA. Nothing Leatherface does is too subtle. So this should be a very interesting matchup of two powerhouses. Donkey Kong being a brutal ape and Leatherface being, well, a raging psychopath. There's the bell. Needless to say, I don't know if the fans will have anybody to count on here, because neither of these individuals are what you would call fan favorites.
Uh, this drink is hitting the spot. Rare face working a full Nelson on Donkey Kong, but I think those shoulders are too broad. And Donkey Kong breaks loose. Have you ever seen a monkey wear a tie? Either way, I don't see any of these individuals lasting over 15 minutes. Donkey Kong tried to camel clutch the mission hold, but the will break. Donkey Kong with a snap suplex. Donkey Kong. Another version of a suplex. And there's the counter clutch submission hold. Is he going to make a little face top? Is he? Little face uses his strength to power out. Little face with a close line. And another. Axe handle chop. Knee to the face. Irish flip to the corner. Dr. Kong better pull something out of his ass. Indeed, if he loses this match, what's Luigi going to think of it? Leatherface going to the outside, and the 10 count begins. Leatherface strangling Donkey Kong. A headbutt to the back of the head. I believe that neither of these two competitors have any king of the two points, so this match is pretty important to both of them. Indeed, speaking of the king of the two tournament, coming up in June, whoever has the most points is in the tournament. Neither Donkey Kong nor Leatherface, as you said, Mark, have much points, but there's a pin. One, two, Donkey Kong gets the shoulder up after two. So whoever wins can rectify that. Donkey Kong with a clip to the knee. Donkey Kong going for a good at the slam. <laughs> Now, Donkey Kong with a gorilla fist. There's the pin. One, two, three. DK picks up the victory. Here's your winner, Donkey Kong. Nintendo has started to really pick up the power now. First Fox McCloud picks up a victory, now Donkey Kong picks up a victory. And all that remains is Wario. This might be bad news for Mario.